Miss Jackie Price, who seems to have her own kingdom um, going. This was one, um, you know, you're just going to be lost because this is not Jesus riding down a sled, but that's what she says. Jesus asked her, will you push me down the hill? And she replied to Jesus, if it pleased the king. And Jesus said, woohoo. So, you know, I guess she sees Jesus as a child as well. But anyway. And then I remember, um, I didn't write this down in my notes, but I'm just, Jesus is just reminding me. I remember around the same time, um, it was this city that was in Colorado, and I remember people were panicking, there were riots, um, people were just taking off in cars and going to gas stations and stores and looting, and they were taking all types of food and water like that those two main things you guys that's one thing Jesus has definitely told me is that food and water will be scarce and those are the two things that people will fight for death over okay for their own selves and for their families that's what God's told me himself and in that vision people were um, just stealing cars and driving off to places trying to go on the interstates but a lot of the interstates um, were blocked by martial law, by the authorities, people were getting arrested, um, people were being killed, um, a lot of stuff was happening, it was terrible, I remember that and I'll never forget that, um, people were just, their faces were full of fear and desperation and they were scared, they were doing anything and everything that they could to get away from the authority figures that were trying to round everybody up and to separate them um, and I just remember like all of that happening this was before I even knew what martial law was but Jesus had to show me later that it was martial law that set up in that town and it wasn't just Colorado it was um, all over the US in many different places of the US the, there will be roadblocks, um, people will be shot and killed if they don't give in to the authority of the martial law. Look up martial law, you guys. See what they do. They rant. The, it's the government. They come into people's houses. They take their food. They take any belongings that they want to. Um, they can take your car. They can take your entire house. They can take you and put you away if, if you violate anything, um, you know, the law. They can put you away, and if you show any signs of being a terrorist, they can put you away. You guys really need to read up on this. It's, it's, <laughs> this stuff is real. This is really happening. This is not some sort of conspiracy theory. It's not. Jesus told me this stuff when I was a child, and I'm literally watching it take place in other nations right now, and God is telling me to make these videos now to warn everyone that it's coming to you. It's coming to your neighborhoods, your towns, your cities. It's coming to you. This stuff is coming to you. And he wants you to take them serious. I remember Jesus taking my spirit above a diesel that was trapped and I saw how people were hiding, again, from the mobs of very dangerous people who were seeking to kill anyone, men, women, and children, okay? Many were separated from their families. A lot of people had died. Jesus showed me that it wouldn't be uncommon to see dead bodies everywhere, in the streets, in the houses, everywhere. And how people who did survive were living in a slum. They were living in terrible living conditions that most animals wouldn't even survive in. And how the stench of, of death in itself will torment people. That they themselves will have wished that they had died along with their families. That's what Jesus told me. And he's, he communicated to me that people's pets, like dogs and cats, um, would also die. And the men who were breaking down the... And the men and the wicked groups of people would kill their pets right in front of the owners just to torment them. And some pets were alone roaming the streets but would eventually die because they were so used to their owners taking care of them and feeding them. Um, he also shared with me that there will be a time when people will be so desperate for food that they will turn to eating any animal, even a pet, okay? And then eventually cannibalism. I remember him telling me that.